leg arm looked on the cover here and said that there was something wrong with the screw. Oh, wow. All right, guys, welcome back. We've been making progress on the tractor. We've got a lot to do, so let's get to it. I gotta clean the surface off, get all the gravel off, get all the tools out of here. There's an access cover right here that uh, Leg Arms told me about. So we're gonna open this up. I gotta drain all the oil out of the tank, clean the tank up. There's probably filings in there over the years of pumps and stuff going out. So that's why we took all this off. Plus, I had to come up through the paint. We're making progress. He's over here. Now we're putting all the oil in this thing, so it doesn't really matter what falls in there because I'm going to be washing it out, but I just took my wrench here, lift it up. It's been a lot of years since that's been open. So they've got a drain plug right here. I just broke it loose. I'm going to take this hose, I'm going to put it over it, and we're going to drain all the hydraulic oil into this drum down here. A little messy, but it's working like a charm. Not too big of a mess. Got about 40 gallons out of it. I think that's about what it holds. Here's our gallons over here. It's not old oil, but it's uh, good to change it. So we're gonna get it changed. And uh, Leg Arm looked on the cover here and said that there was something wrong with the screw. Oh, wow. Let's get a light on that. That's got problems. Wow. The outer screen came apart. Okay, well, we're gonna change that. So the purpose of a screen is this is gonna catch most of the contaminants before it gets into the suction side of the pump. There's still one more inline filter that's gonna catch all the small microns, but this is an important piece, and uh, I don't know what caused that outer layer to explode like that, but uh, we gotta get a new one. Pretty hard clean in there, I flushed it, washed it. So now I'm using paper towels and I'm wiping the inside down as much as I possibly can. See all my paper towels. And then we're gonna throw a big magnet in there to catch any filings for any future particles that are floating around. Put the new screen in, put oil in it, back in business. So like the brood, we're putting these Thomas lights in this grill. And they're a little bit more square than the previous lights we had in there. These originally came with round lights. So I cut out and made it for the other lights. Well, as you can tell, I did a really bad job. So we're fixing that. It was little leg arms then. Now it's big leg arms. Imagine that, 75 watts each. These babies are gonna kick out some serious light. When we first got this tractor, there really wasn't a great way to get on the back of this thing. It was kind of one step here, but it wasn't very good. There's fuel caps on the top, so you kind of need to get up there every now and then. Plus, we put stuff up there every now and then, so. Um, but there was these temporary angle iron steps that were welded right here. So, leg arms is gonna go ahead and fabricate something a little better. As long as you can get up and down without hitting your shins, that's all I care, right? in his corner again. Now originally across the back of this there was four lights and we're gonna put four Thomas lights on the back to replace those. So I've taken apart all the old wiring right here as you can see. It was strung underneath there 
that powered them because the gauge of wire is too small for these new Thomas lights. These new Thomas lights take a lot more energy to run. So I gotta upgrade them. Problem is, that wiring uh, goes underneath here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a lot of the wire and snip it out, pull it out of here, so that way I can string the new heavier gauge wire in that'll feed the new LED lights. So let's go do that. Let's come inside. So this is underneath the back half of the tractor. We got a heavy duty Clark axle. I think this baby's rated at least 75,000 pounds. A lot of iron in here, a lot of dirt. We don't really about cleaning this area that much because you don't do much in here except for greasing circles like that. So I gotta take, not these lines, actually that's the airlines. I gotta take all these wires out of here. See all those wires that run up and down. So let's get to snipping. I'm not alone in here. I think we're done in here, so I can get out. But I'm gonna have to come back in here again when I run the new wire through. When I come back in here, I'll do a little grease, and we're not gonna paint in here, because uh, why would you paint in here? No one looks in here. Plus, it's just a dirty mess. So, let's get out of here. Peeled the hood off the top of the bud. We're gonna get it down on the ground that way we can work on it. It's a lot easier than being way up there. Plus, there's some fabricating work that needs done to it as well. So, we went ahead and used the boom truck to Scott. Got it on the ground. So we got the grill off. Making progress. So, guys, I got good news. Spring's coming. So, our farm is built in kind of a low spot. And the water from the fields way back behind our place here uh, runs down right through here. So every spring, like this one, we get this little river that comes running down, down our farm. This is the runoff, the fields are melting. Good sign means spring work's coming fast. So we gotta get on the ball, get stuff done now. Some of you might be wondering, where does all this water go? Well, actually, if you look right there, it flows on down our driveway to the low spot right by the road, right there, the county road. It goes through a culvert and off into that field down there to a big water hole that we uh, had to farm around. But right here is where it all flows. Not bad, it was actually pretty cool. If I were a little kid, I'd be stomping around in those boots. Oh wait, I was just stomping around in those boots. Guess I'm a little kid. It's gonna take a little bit, but uh, eventually this thing will melt. Is that a feeder chain bar in there? Kinda weird. So every year, guys, this typically happens. Um, the last couple of years, it's been more so than what I remember growing up as a kid. But see all this water right here? Isn't this amazing? As you guys saw earlier in the video, it's all flowing and it pools right here. The county road acts like a big dam. There's a little culvert underneath this approach right here, and then it goes over to another culvert, which then goes out into the field out that way. But it's slow and it can't keep up with the flow that's happening right now. There's a lot of flow, a lot of water. It's always kind of fun. And as kids, this is fun to play in.
so we're getting to a point now where a lot of the major stuff is done that needs to be done before paint. But the last and final thing really is we got to get the surface of this bud prepped. So right now, leg arms on the other side over here, and he is grinding down and sanding the paint. And we got to do that across the entire tractor because there's a lot of areas where there's chips, like right here on the hood. See all that? That's got to get sanded down. So a lot of work ahead of us. This is going to be one of the big projects. <laughs> so we'll keep going at it. So all these grind spots here is areas that have been chipped. The paint has scratches, chips, who knows from what, rocks, tools. Bottom line is for paint, we gotta get that down and make it smooth. So every one of those spots, that's what we're doing here is we're sanding it down to the metal and then blending the original paint primer that's on there. We'll clean all this up to do it, but we still got a lot of tractor left to do. Another thing that needs done to this tractor, which I'm gonna do here real soon, is gonna make a new clevis, a new hook, whatever you wanna call it, an anchor point on the front of this tractor. So when we get stuck stuck, we can hook onto it and not worry about it ripping off. So what happened was this got ripped off when we had it stuck really bad in the mud, the worst we've ever had a tractor stuck. Um, you can actually watch that. It's a big bud tractors rolling coal and playing in the mud. So check that out. But my plan is because we don't want two anchor points, we would like one to pull from the center. This is inch thick steel from the front, underneath, the welds, it's heavy. You're not doing anything to the front of this. This is as solid as it gets. So I'm gonna go have a massive chunk of iron made that looks like this, and it's gonna go, and it's gonna be right like that. And we're gonna weld that baby up like you will not believe, up at the side of it, everything. So it'll be able to pull that tractor out of whatever we get it stuck in, so that's the plan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you watch part one, part two, and subscribe to the channel. God bless, take care. Catch you in the next episode.